So today I'm going to be reviewing a GoPro ski pole mount from a company called Diorum. This is between 150 days of winter. You get this view. It's been an incredible day. Thank you all for everybody. So earlier this year, I went and bought a uh, a set of Diorum's um, GoPro ski pole basket mount as a way of trying to solve a problem that I have. When I am filming other people and myself skiing, I generally will use this. This is a uh, X-Series... Um, you could call it a selfie stick, but I would call it almost a modified monopod. This thing goes out to like one and a half meters, which is amazing for getting reach, okay? On one end, it's got a, like a, a gimbal mount on it where I can put a GoPro, and on the other, it's got a larger uh, mount on there, which I can actually mount the camera that you're watching on this on. Um, it has so many uses, and that's why I've been using it for the past six years. The only downside to this is when I go out skiing uh, with this, uh, I will have one ski pole and I will have this, which is fine, generally. Uh, however, when you get to flat ground or somewhere where you actually need to pole, having only one pole is a bit of a disadvantage. I think you'll agree. I was constantly on the lookout for a way of attaching a GoPro to a ski pole. Now, uh, in the past, uh, and I'm sure uh, uh, there's a like a standard GoPro mount which looks like this. You could put the ski pole through there, tighten this up, and voila, you got a GoPro mounted onto a ski pole. Uh, the only problem with that is that most ski poles are ever so slightly tapered and subsequently you would i would tighten it down to as far as it would go after a tiny bit of shooting you could already see that it's like slightly vibrated its way out and it had gone loose again which again wasn't ideal so again this not a solution which of course brings us to this company called diorum makes a pole basket with a GoPro mount in it, which is a very fa uh, fascinating and elegant solution to this. Okay, it's not perfect, uh, but it is a very uh, good idea. And to, to, to basically mount this, I think there was about six or seven brands of poles which are listed here, of which you can remove the existing pole baskets and put these on um, instead. Luckily, about a week ago, my neighbour, Monsieur Poubelle, became the owner of a, a single pole. This very nice pole from Lecky, which just so happened to be the same type of pole that you could attach this to. Let me show you. So, on these, you can basically unscrew the, mm, the existing pole basket. There we go. <coughs> and, in return, you can go and put this on and do the opposite. And yes, it is tight, but I don't think you want this to be loose anyway so there we go I think we are yeah we're as far as we're going to go on that so now we have got the perfect place that I can if I so want to attach a GoPro onto let me just go get one okay so here I have my GoPro 10 and Basically, uh, really rather easily, uh, I can go and put that in, click it into place, there we go, push it snug, and now 
for following people like an angle of about of that is absolutely perfect if you're following somebody and you want to get a really nice upward view if i go and reduce, change that angle to even more again you get a very good review from there for something that is more straight on it does go to almost uh 90 degrees however uh not ideal i personally think that uh, an easier way of videoing it is have it under there and with the ski pole handle there there is an excellent like stable fit to do that anyway to see some footage that i've done using this here is a minute or so of me absolutely using it showing which configuration i've done with the camera I think, I think I spent about half a day using it. I gave it to someone else to use. Here are my conclusions. Uh, a, it's an excellent idea. When I wasn't filming, you can very easily just remove it from the mount and you have a normal ski pole. However, if I'm filming shots that require a little bit of skiing, for me getting to the position, having this just sat like so, Adds a little bit more weight to the basket, but you can still use the basket as uh, like just like a normal ski pole. As you can see from the footage, following 10 out of 10. For the other shots that I had where I was, I had flipped this around and I was filming myself, this is like just a little bit too short to get me all in shot, as you saw. However, however, there were still some very usable shots. If it's 10 out of 10 for following, for doing like a selfie, it's probably about an eight, which is, again, is very good. Um, and so yes, this pole and this basket will go into my repertoire of useful GoPro mounts to have on the mountain. And I can't recommend it more than that. Uh, if you have, of course, found this review interesting, uh, please click the like button. Um, if you enjoy me reviewing ski equipment, click the subscribe button. And if you uh, have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And on that, I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.